All right. So uh, so okay. The next next portion we will go uh, we'll go take the piston rings out of the package. So we'll do. All right. Okay, we're gonna go unbox these uh, piston rings at last, all right? Poor guys have been sitting in here all all year long. It's a FIM brand piston ring. Okay. Be careful; these are very fragile. Okay, there they are. They're so cute. They're so small. <laughs> All right, so there's your piston rings. Um, so you've got this kind of like, um, I forgot what they call it. It's a little, it's a little scraper ring or something. It's for the oil. This is one of the oil rings. And you should have two thicker piston rings. Those are the, those are these guys. So we have two thicker ones right here. These are the ones that we'll be measuring. And then these are the oil control rings right here. These go on the top and the bottom of this guy right here. And there's also a... So Aes Omega has been watching a lot of YouTube videos about engine building. So, so I'm going to impart my knowledge on you. When you install these, when you install these on this, you want to make sure that this sits on there's a little um there's kind of a little like seat for it to sit on you want to make sure that the piston ring is seated outside of that so kind of like kind of like that and you want it to be able to to rotate in there when it's on the piston obviously okay So those are the oil rings, so I'll put those separate for now. And these are your actual piston rings. These are the ones that, that hold the compression in and everything. So you can see here, there's some numbers. Oh, just, okay, there are two different sizes. One of them, one of them is a dark color and one of them is a lighter color one. One's a black one and the other one's a not black one. And it says SSFIM and then 625 on the ring. I think 625 is like the uh, something to do with the size of the, the ring. There they are. Um, there should be a top and a bottom for the piston, I, for, for the ring, so I'm not really sure which one is the top and which one is the bottom. <laughs> well, we'll figure that out. I'll go look it up on the YouTubes. <laughs> All right. So that's it. We're just that was just uh, checking out the rings. So you should have two of these, and then and then uh, two of the oil rings, and then the, the little the in between the sandwich part. Okay, he's mega here. So uh, the uh, so in the last clip we kind of just took the piston rings out and we kind of looked at them, and now I'm gonna. Um, we're gonna figure out which one is the top and the bottom. I've already figured it out. Um, so if you look here on the Kawasaki KLX uh, service manual, on engine top end chapter 4-29, um, it tells you how to install all the rings, like what, what direction to install them all. Um, you gotta install the oil ones first. And the oil rings, it says here, the oil rail, the oil ring rails have no top or bottom. So you you can install this any way you want, as provided you, you put it in the right order. So the way that goes is, I think they want you to install the expander ring. This is called the, this is the expander ring for the oil rings. And you, you want it to make it sure it looks like that, like the way it is right now. You can't even see it right there, so. You don't want them to overlap or anything. And then, um, and then uh, you install the oil seal ring. The oil ring steel rails. That's what these are called. These are oil ring rails or something. And that goes on top. One of them goes on the top and one of them goes on the bottom. Just like that. Sort of kind of. Sort of kind of. Sort of. But you got to make sure you line them all up good. Um, and then, so uh, the 
the big question is like which one of these is the top ring and which one is the bottom ring and which way to install them so um, it doesn't say so on the box at all anywhere the FIM box so this is not a OEM style or it's not OEM piston so it's a aftermarket one um, but it says do not mix up the top ring and the second ring obviously um, so it says install the top ring. So the top ring is known as the is the compression ring. That's the one that seals pretty much all the compression in. Um, and so the top the the top ring will have a mark called top one on it, but these don't. You can look very carefully. It's kind of hard to see, but it says FIM on one side of the ring, and then it says six two five on the other. And the other side has nothing. There's no dots, nothing. You know, like so other some pistons have, a, some piston rings have have dots on it to tell you like what what's the top and the bottom. This has nothing like that. It only has a single marking. So where the markings are, the FIM marking and the 625 marking, that's your top. Um, but also they give you this diagram, so you can't you can't mess this up. Um, so install the top ring. So the number one ring, the one that's on the very top of the piston, so I'll give you an idea. So the oil ring, these guys go on the bottom here. And then on the top, this is your top ring, or your number one ring. And then your number two is or in the middle. So um, so the, the top ring A, so there's A. There's a picture of A right there. So that the top mark B faces up so it's saying the mark and it's kind of stupid like it's pointing toward towards the mark but it's like you can't see the mark because it's not at the right um the diagram isn't right the right angle right and then the second ring is c so the top so so if you look at these the pistons very uh, the piston ring very carefully there's a taper on one of these it's like a or like a slant Kind of like a slant cut. It's very, it's very hard to see in the camera, but I can tell you, like, I can tell you, there's a slant, like, right here. It's like a, let's say, let's look at this square here. It's like if they were to chop like a, a section of the the corner off, like, like that, you know. Um, so this one has it. So this is the top ring right here. This is our number one right here. The the kind of bronze colored one is the number one, and the top, the top will have where to cut where the cutout is. So the cutout is like right here on the back. It's very hard to see in the camera, but let me see. Ah, oh, here. Okay, I got. I just need a background. You can see it. I know it's really hard to see. <laughs> But there's a there's like a chopped off section on this side. So this is the number one, and this is the way this is the direction you would install on the top like that. And then underneath it will be your number two. The number two is kind of this one is like it looks square, man. It's totally flat. It's flat and square. This is like your oil scraper ring, um, and. Uh, yeah, so anyway, it doesn't have that cutout. It's totally flat on the top and the bottom. So, um, and then the top two mark where the D is, is, is faces up. Okay, so. yeah, so it says FIM here and then 625 on the other side. So this is your top. So you would install it like that. So this is your number one with the marks up here, and your number two with the marks up there, and, and it's got the slant cut here. It would go like that. And then your oil rings would be underneath it. Got it? <laughs> so, so now we know what rings are what. So so now we can go. Uh, uh, so now we can figure out what um, what the ring gaps are, the ring the ring end gaps are, and um, so we can find that. Um, okay. Or so now that we know which rings are which, this is our number one ring. This is our number two, and this is our oil rings right here. Uh, we can uh, we can start um, setting the or, or checking for the piston ring end gaps. Um, so the top has a spec. Um, it's from 
0.15 to 0.30 millimeters and the second ring is 0.35 to 0.45 so they're they're both different the second ring has a bigger gap than the first gap first ring excuse me uh, and then the oil ring is 0.2 to 0.7 so the oil ring has a big big variance so um, we're going to shoot for the middle so say um, we'll go like somewhere in the middle so maybe we'll do like 0.2 on this or 0.22 or something millimeters and then this one will probably do I don't know 0.337 or something um, and so we'll shoot we'll shoot for the middle of the uh, of the spec and uh, and and so I'll show I will show you how to do that um, in the next video clip so so we got all the we got all the ingredients for success now we know which one's the top we know which one's the number one ring this one which is this one the top right here this is the bottom ring this I mean this is the second ring this is the second one right here and the oil so the two oil I, I I'm pretty sure you don't do the expander you just do the oil rings and I don't think there's a top or bottom for the oil rings that's what it said it said there's no top or bottom so and it's kind of kind of stuck in each other so there you go the oil ones feel really really um fragile all right, so armed with that knowledge, we can set the ring gap, and that'll be the next clip. Here's my gap.